Good evening, sir. So my name is Mary Louise Margaret Esposa, second year BPED student. So today I'm going to discuss about the Philippine costumes. So introduction. The Philippines national clothing, despite the influence from different countries, it remains as a truly remarkable, undoubtedly unique, colorful, and ornate with beads and peace from the natural resources found in the land itself. So, motivational question, what is the significance of our Philippine costume? So, female and male Philippine costumes. So, number one is the Barotsaya. Barotsaya is a colorless blouse called Baro and all-purpose wrap around skirt metamorphed into the long skirt called saya. These two pieces assemble usually supplemented by the ancient tapis used as an overskirt and eventually by the square, square kerchief called alampai worn so that it covers the bosom. So Next is the Maria Clara. So in the 90s was used to refer to the 19th century turn. The camisa was made to embroidered juicy or pina. So its bell-shaped sleeves gathered at the shoulder and flowing out of the wrist, worn with panalo of the same material draped around shoulder and with a multi-panel skirt of heavy satin. So next is the next is the Traje de Mestiza. So Traje de Mestiza became popular during the American colonial period. The camisa became a clinging bodice with sleeves pushed up. The saya deflated to a slim column the long train which was either pointed, oval, or square. So, a recreated tapis display, using patterns and dexterous bedworks match the hard, hard, the outer, the outer pan, the pan, panuelo. So, next is the Balintawak. So, Malinta Walk is a 1930s shortage court worn, I mean worn, during picnics and other excursion activity into the countryside and associated to Antipolo, a favorite summer destination for Manila dwellers. Less formal style of Filipina, Filipiniana native dress which does not make use of a soft or stiff panelo, but soft drape kerchief on shoulder or neatly folded large kerchief over one shoulder so next is the terno so from the spanish word means to match so a one piece creation with both bodies and skirt panelo less and the bodies became fitted so the silhouette of the traditional balsaya were modified and styled, also known as mestiza dress. So kimono, short and loose women's blouse with extended sleeves worn on top of a long saya. So next is the serpentina. So skirt, cutter, skirt, cutterized characterized by a straight silhouette from the waist to somewhere around the knees where it was cut in a serpentine or snake lined fashion and to which was then attached a wide semicircular bottom panel of the same material cut in bias so next is the alampai so Alampai is a shoulder kerchief or neck kerchief worn with the Filipino native dress that serves to clean nose and wipe of sweat. 
So next is Ilocano peasant costume or Taosu costume. So this costume is that female top baro, which is loose blouse, three fourth belt sleeves with little or no design on edges. So white corpino top comes with barot saya, pleated tall less skirt ankle length, choice of plain strip or floral. So overskirt, any dark or black rectangle, cotton wrapped around the waist and gathered on the left side, reaching below the knee. So for the male, on top is camisa de chino, long sleeves, Chinese shirt of Ilocano, then type of pants is a uh, colored peasant pants. I mean pants. So Subanon, Subanon costume top is fairly long black skirt reaching the upper tie, upper ties, then moderately tight sleeve, tight long sleeve, small standing collar, front opening showing red lining. So pants is sawal, moderately loose long pants with drawstrings, a short sarong malong wrap around the waist reaching down the knees to keep pants in place then turban rectangular checkered herd i mean headkerchief predo predominantly maroon or red folded in a triangle tied around the head with tip in front then footwear and then footwear is none so it means they are barefooted so baro Baro and camisa. The the short the short colorless upper part of waist length blouse of the Filipino terno. Some were elaborately embroidered on the edges, or all over, usually made of filsim material, which is pina juicy abaca, see which is cinnamon, and rengue then. Kanyamaso, an import from Europe, and lately nylon of white and white or cream in color. So lastly is the Barong Tagalog. So the Barong Tagalog, more commonly known simply as Barong, is an embroidered long sleeves formal shirt for men and a national dress of the Philippines. Then Barong Tagalog combines elements from both the pre-colonial native Filipino and colonial Spanish clothing style. So that's all, thank you.